Hey guys, let's learn how to make tomato gravy. All right, the ingredients you're gonna need is some flour, some chicken broth, or just water. We're gonna use a can of diced tomatoes, some salt and pepper, and a little vegetable oil. The full ingredients will be in the description box. All right, let's get into it. So in my cast iron skillet, I fried up some sausages. So there's a little bit of oil left from the sausages. It didn't make as much oil as I would like. So we're gonna add our three tablespoons of vegetable oil, which is coming up. This pan is on medium heat. three tablespoons of vegetable oil then we're going to get that heated a little bit my pan was already hot so we're going to add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour which is coming up as well if you're new to my channel I'm official Jamia and this is my first time making tomato gravy all right let's get that flour in there like I said the full measurements and ingredients will be in the description box below all right we're gonna make a quick roux you're gonna cook up your um, flour until it's like a nice brown color and gets that nutty smell. You're gonna keep whisking around. I usually use a wooden spoon. I don't know what I was thinking about today, but I was trying to follow the directions. But you'll see in a minute, I'm gonna use a rubber spatula to get it out the cracks and crevices. <laughs> You want to keep constantly stirring. I had to get the biscuits out the oven and stuff. It was a lot going on. <laughs> so keep your eye on your roux at all times. Don't look away because you can burn it and mess it all up. But we scraping it together. You want to get it cooked real good. This time it only took a few minutes because my sausage made the gravy turn brown sooner. Cook that roux up real good. Keep it moving. Stir it up, stir it up. Excuse TJ making all kinds of noise in the background. Be still. Be still. Had to move you out to the side because I had to get the biscuits out the oven. Look at those fat biscuits. Yummy. Alright. Girl, get back to your room. Almost burnt my roux, y'all. Not gonna lie. Because I was over there messing with them biscuits. And I forgot to move y'all back over. We're gonna start adding our broth in a little bit at a time. Keep whisking it around.
you gotta whisk out all your lumps. You wanna whisk until it's nice and smooth. skin until it gets nice and smooth let this simmer for a few minutes then you're gonna add your can of tomatoes you do not drain your tomatoes juice and all I use a can of diced tomatoes and uh, you can use fresh tomatoes or canned tomatoes you can use tomato paste if that's all you have but today we're using a can of diced to tomatoes. I keep wanting to say potatoes. Jesus. I'm sorry for the weird camera angle. I forgot to move you guys back over. Alright. Nine times out of ten I was opening a can of tomatoes at this point. Let's add in those tomatoes, juice and all. Trust the process. Get that whisked in. Get all those flavors incorporated with the tomatoes. And you're gonna let this simmer for another five minutes or so. And voila, you're gonna have your tomato gravy. I served mine over some biscuits, which you'll see in the mukbang. This turned out really good, y'all. Thanks, shout out to Lexus Ice ASMR for letting me know that there was a such thing as tomato gravy. Let me know in the comments if you ever heard of this before. It's the first time for me, and it was really, really good. I forgot we're going to add some salt and pepper here in a few. And I ended up um, adding some all-purpose seasoning in there as well. Just because I wanted a little bit more of a herb flavor. But you season it to your liking. That's a little bit of salt. And pepper is going in there. I like a lot of pepper in my gravy, y'all. Make sure you taste it and see if you need to add anything. And that's pretty much it, y'all. I'm gonna add that other seasoning right now, I think. Because I tasted it on the side and I was like, mm, I want a little bit extra oomph. But if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I'm over here cooking or eating something delicious. That's the Saison All Purpose. We added a little bit of that. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you on the mukbang. Thank you for watching. Bye.